Welcome back to Vlogmas and welcome back to talking about books I've read this year. Um, last two days I've talked about 1 through 25, so this is um, onwards. Um, first book is, um, first book of this video, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. This was such a good book, um, probably one of my top five of this year. It is about Evelyn Hugo, who is a um, Hollywood, Hollywood icon, and she has this glamorous and scandalous life, and she wants to finally talk about her life. So she does a, um, she talks to a magazine reporter to write a book about her life, and you found out, find out some crazy stuff about her life. Next one is Maybe Someday by Colleen Hoover. Um, it is about a girl in college who finds out that her boyfriend is cheating on her, um, and she meets her mysterious and attractive neighbor, and of course they fall in love, obviously. <laughs> it's a cute little, like, you know, rom-com. Um, next is A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson. It is about a high school senior who gets murdered by her boyfriend and then he kills himself and then five years later this senior in high school decides she wants to re-examine the case for her project and um because she doesn't think that the boyfriend actually killed her and then obviously there are people that don't want her to know the truth so they can try to keep it from her it's really cute um Next is Reminders of Him by Colleen Hoover. It is about, this one is really good. It's about a girl who goes to prison for um, a, an accident and then she tries to reunite with her four-year-old daughter, but the people who are taking care of her daughter are not wanting her to um, be around her daughter. So she has to like figure out a way around it um, and kind of like tell the truth or, um, explain the truth to them but they you know, obviously she went to prison for something so um she has to find a way to um kind of get them to forgive her so she can have time with her daughter next one is good girl bad blood by holly jackson it is the sequel to the good girl's guide to murder um the girl who was writing the um, report about the murder, uh, decides that she's going to have a true crime podcast now, and, um, another person goes missing, so, and the police won't do anything, so she has to investigate it on her podcast. And then, As Good As Dead is the, see, treat, what is it called? It's in th the third one in the series. Um, it is uh, the same girl. She goes to college, um, but she gets death threats. Um, and she keeps, she's trying to figure out who these death threats are um, from because she realized someone is following her. And um, she's trying, yeah, she's trying to figure out another mystery case. So those three books, really good. Um, next one is November 9 by Colleen Hoover. This one, a lot of these books are by Colleen Hoover. I've read a lot of Colleen Hoover books this year. Um, so this girl, Fallon, meets Ben, who the day before she's supposed to move across the country. And um, they spend the last day of her time in town together and they decide that they're going to meet every year on the same day, November 9. And it's really cute, really good book. Um, next is Maybe Not by Colin Hoover. It's a very short book and it is goes along with the maybe, what was the book called? Maybe Now? Maybe Someday. Maybe Someday is about the roommates um, that live with the people in the book. I didn't really like it. It was, it's very, um, 
what's the word, uh, sexual. Um, but yeah, I just like that it went along with the book, the last book I read, Regretting You by Colleen Hoover. Um, I obviously did a really big Colleen Hoover kick. Um, it's just really cute. It is about a woman, Morgan, and her 16 daughter, um, and they're like nothing alike. And she is determined to prevent her daughter from making the mistakes, same mistakes she did. Um, but she doesn't, the daughter doesn't want to follow in her mother's footsteps. Um, they have conflicting personalities and conflicting goals, and they find it difficult to coexist. Um, and the only person that keeps them together is the dad, but the dad is but the dad is involved in a tragic and questionable accident and yeah really cute give me one second okay i'm back um i had to get dinner and eat it <laughs> um let's see i also want to mention that um, all of these books will be linked um in my amazon storefront below um, right now it has all the books that I've got off Amazon, but I'm going to put all of these books on my Amazon storefront down below if you would like to check them out. Um, let's see what's next. Heart Bones. Another Colleen Hoover. Um, it's about a girl who comes from poverty and neglect and she meets a boy that is very wealthy and they find, they spend the summer together and they, um get separated and they have to start their new lives on opposite ends of the country and they try to decide if they want to stay together or if it was just a summer fling. So it's cute. The next is Confess by Colleen Hoover. It is about um, a girl who walks into an art studio for a job and she falls in love with the artist and then um finds out that the artist has a major secret um so yeah it's cute and then the last one of this video is the phantom phantom prince my life with ted bundy by elizabeth kendall this book was really interesting because it was by Ted Bundy's girlfriend um, at the time and like while he was doing the killings and stuff. And I know there is a Netflix movie about it. Um, and in the book, she talks about how she doesn't want like she wants to just like leave that in the past. She doesn't want to talk about it and stuff. But Netflix was like, we're doing this movie so either you like work with us to do it or we're doing it anyway so she was like okay I'd rather have my story out there so that's why she did the movie and that's why she wrote the book so then sh so then her story is out there and other people aren't you know because I, I mean I bet if you're with someone you would not think that they would be a serial killer that would be the last thing on your mind. You'd be like, that person I sleep next to every night? No way they're a serial killer. And that's what she thought about Ted Bunny. So, you know, obviously there's so many people that are probably like, you're an idiot for not knowing. So it's really interesting to see her point of view. But yeah, so that is all the books I'm going to talk about in this video. I think I have one more video left to talk about the remaining 50. So stay tuned for that.